Hello guys, thanks for coming back again. For those that have subscribed, if you are yet to subscribe, please click on the subscribe button and also on the bell beside it. That will notify you when we drop a new video. And one more thing, guys, thanks for 1,000 subscribers. I really appreciate you. Thanks for that. In this practical video, we want to talk about the electrolysis of copper 2, the choices of a 6. Now, is it done? Um, actually, the experiment is dedicated for one of our playlists created for teachers, and that is our teacher series. So, we need to make a difference in teaching sciences, both physics, chemistry, and all the sciences. Because making difference will make our teaching unique. You know, in every science course, there is always a practical. Do not teach a science course without a practical. You have to be mad in taking your subjects. Mad doesn't mean craziness, actually. It means you should make a difference in everything you teach as far as science is concerned. So we're going to talk about the electrolysis of copper sulfate using the available materials and things you can easily get in your vicinity. So let's see how the practical goes. So let's go through the materials we need for the experiments and before we start there, according to what we write on the board we need, actually in this experiment we use two carbon rods. Two carbon rods and moreover, this, uh, this is the rod. So how do I get my carbon rod? I think you should be familiar with this popular battery. So I think you get the one that is spoiled, then you remove the rod in it gently. So that is your carbon rod. So if you get two of that, it's enough for your electrode. So then that is two carbon rods. We have connecting wires, we have the copper socket itself, and we need water, we need a meter to easily measure the amount of current passing through the solution. Then we have the key to uh, control the current. We also have the cell which supplies the current and uh, we have the beaker in which everything is contained. So we're going to build or arrange our electrolytic cell right now. Let's see how it goes. So let's see how the practical goes. We have the two rods here, the two rods of which one is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and that is regarded to as the anode. And the other one is connected in the uh, uh, negative part of the battery and that happens to be the uh, cathode. So which means, and this is our salt, so let us dissolve this in water because we know that we have to make it an electrolyte and it has to be in molten or solution form. So now we have to make the solution of this, as you can see it's color blue. So after making the solution of this, we begin the process So after dissolving, the next thing we need to do is to insert our electrode with the key open so that current won't pass yet. So then we, we introduce the electrode, the first one inside this. Actually, this is supposed to be balanced, but since the beaker is kind of deeper than this, and which means we can add a little bit more water to ensure that we is able to sit properly with the beads. So when this happens, sit. Then this also sits. Please, the process will begin and we achieve our aim. So now, the next step is to close the key. As you can see, the key is connected according to the diagram on the board. So we close the key so that current can actually pass in. So we close the key now and allow current passage. And then this is not really reflecting on the ammeter, but I suspect there is current passing through. Let me take the camera through the process. Then you see a bubble along the uh, cathode and then the anode. There is formation of copper at the cathode and formation of oxygen gas at the anode. So let's take it round. You see the bubble of oxygen gas around the anode and you see a change in color of the cathode. Look at the process, look at the arrangement. This is the cell, the key, the armature, and the setup, the electrolytic setup. So now, if you look very well at the process, you would see bubble of oxygen gas along the anode. That is the rod connected to the positive. 
you see a bubble of oxygen gas then as you can see in the camera then we can go through as you can see that you see this so then we can also go to the cathode sorry yes to the cathode this is the anode having bubble of oxygen gas then going to the cathode you notice the cathode is black at the beginning of the experiment but when you check it now you discover that it's having a kind of change in color so which means that copper has been deposited so let's remove the key and observe that so let's observe the change in color can you see this let's observe the change in color I don't know if you see that the tips are getting a little bit lighter or a kind of brownish color as you can see so let's observe in a more uh, light can you see this yeah that is how it looks like so we see a deposit of copper on it then the mathematical relationship is through Faraday's law you can easily get the amount of copper deposited on the cathode so if this continue the cathode will continue uh, be, being, being coated and getting thicker then you'll be able to get your copper directly from it can you see the color of the copper coming out so we can continue this process for some time and see all more changes that would occur now when i remove the anode you see there is no bubble of gas again so if i introduce it back and open the key the process will continue the process will continue actually you need to make this stable you need to make it stable either by inserting both electrode into a piece of paper before introducing into heat so now the process continues let's observe again Alongside you see the bubble of gas going towards oxygen, going towards the anode rather. So the process continues again and the mathematical relationship can be derived using Faraday's law as you can see. So this is how electrolysis of salt is being performed. So you can also try this on your own because you can get all these materials simply in uh, your area or in your laboratory. They are cheap things you can easily get. So subscribe to our channel for more videos on practicals. Thanks for watching.